Hey everybody and welcome back to the Billet RC YouTube channel. Uh, as you can see, we finally got our TRX4M that we pre-ordered. Uh, we pre-ordered this before it was even released and um, we just now got it. Uh, we got it today actually. So I'm looking forward to getting my hands on it, getting it out of the box. And uh, I'm not gonna do an unboxing video just because there's, there's tons of them out there already we're gonna look at some things in detail and um and take it out and run it on the trail and crawl some rocks with it and stuff like that i do have a couple of stuff we'll probably throw on it in this video um i do have the pro scale lighting kit for it and the low gear transmission so we'll probably throw those in it in this video and get a comparison between the two yeah so with that being said we'll, we'll jump into it So as you can see, we've got the uh, we got the blue Bronco. Um, first impressions are um, it's pretty it's it's uh, pretty slick looking. Um, I like the uh, the headlights and the tail lights. Uh, I like the detail that they put in the in the grill. You know, you've got it is a hard body, of course, so you've got um, some pretty good detail door handles you know hinges and uh, stuff like that a uh, you know the spare tire carrier that's not there's no tire in there um, roof rack it's all hard hard plastic um, and some LEDs that come in it from the from the factory and the bumper down there now the Bronco of course has the uh, the KM3 the BF Goodrich KM3 tires on it. And yeah, these are um, just double checking. I, I, I hadn't heard anybody saying that they did come glued, but I was just double checking to make sure that that wasn't something they started doing. You know, like the first ones that came out weren't glued. And even though this is, you know, uh, still pretty early in the, uh, in the TRX4M. So um, I do uh, like the oil field shock. We'll have to look at uh, making some, maybe some shock towers to maybe relocate uh, our shock angles and um, some stuff like that. First impressions is I'm pretty impressed. You know, it's, it is, it is Traxxas, you know, people can hate on Traxxas, but they do put out a, a good product for what they're trying to do. Um, you know, Traxxas does kind of try to control the experience that people have with their products, and there's nothing wrong with that. So, yeah. So we'll get into it. We'll uh, we'll go ahead and swap this transmission out and add this Pro Scale Light Kit. I'll probably do a time lapse and some uh, some better detail shots of how to add this Pro Scale Light Kit. I've seen a couple videos, but they haven't been like super in-depth super detailed as far as visual on how to add the pro scale light kit so we'll put some shots in here of adding this pro scale light kit and uh, swapping this transmission out all right so i've got the uh, pro scale light kit opened up and it looks like uh what it what it comes with is obviously the lights looks pretty simple uh, so you have this um, we'll see in the instructions here which side's the front which side's the back and it comes with another set of tail lights um, so we'll see what exactly we have to change here we'll go ahead and set those out and we'll look here and see what all we need to do 
here's the routing. So we'll remove the front headlight retainers. I think everything on this thing is a 1.5 millimeter. And remove the tail light lenses. Yes, so these do have retainers for a three millimeter LED um, in the body as it comes. So it looks like we're gonna do something different here. So it does look like we're gonna lose the sticker. Um, this is the new one. So I'll see which one I like better. Maybe uh, we won't use the uh, Pro Scale Light Kit if this looks better. We'll just see. Um, I know the Pro Scale Light Kit has more function, I'm pretty sure. But it does look like the front ones are these longer ones as compared to these. We're gonna pop out this battery tray. I've already unplugged the motor lead and cut the zip tie that was on here. We're just gonna pop this battery tray out of here. I don't think that you have to, but it looks like the wires are routed through it, so it could present a problem to get the transmission out. We'll just go ahead and unplug everything and slide it out of the little wire holder here. I'm not exactly sure. Oh, it was the sticker. The sticker. right here is stuck to the front of the transmission so after that's out of the way we can just take take one, go. One, two, three, four bolts 
out of the way. Take these out of the transmission. It should just come right out. With those four out, this should just slide right out. And we'll just fish the motor cable out of the battery tray. Disconnect the drive shafts. And so far, everything on this has been one and a, a, a 1.5 millimeter. Which is good, it's not some, it's not the 1.27 that's on the, um, the SCX24 and there's there's this so this is the um, trail gear trail gear the middle middle gear transmission the one that comes in it in the box this is the um, low range crawl gearing 9791R like these two are the same so we'll go ahead slide the drive shafts the halves back on Then we will drop this guy back in. Line the drive shafts up. down in there put our screws back in Make sure you drop them a couple of times, as always. You can't do this without dropping something. We 
we will fish our motor wire back through. Caught on here. And we'll set our battery tray back in there. When you when you put the battery tray back in, these little knobs right here go inside the frame rails. So you have to kind of turn it over, get one side in. Get the other side in, then it'll just slide down into place. Now we can just plug everything back up, plug the motor in there where it says motor, servo where it says servo, lights where it says lights, and that's it. Easy as pie. Well guys, that was extremely simple to get the ProScale light kit and the uh, transmission changed. One thing I will note is this back Uh, body mount doesn't really seem to be holding on very well but we'll see how it does out on the trail it is also much slower with the crawl gear which I'll put the uh, side-by-side -side comparison uh, where I ran them from end to end on this table I'll put a side-by-side um, uh, -side comparison um, so you can see the difference between the, the, the transmission gear that comes in it and the, um, the crawling gear. Um, if I ever get um, the high speed gearing, which I, I don't really have any use for, um, then I'll throw that into the comparison as well. I'll put all three of them side by side. Also, one thing to note is if you um, if you have the ProScale light kit and um, your uh, transmitter disconnects, um, it flashes fast to let you know that it's lost signal. Um, I don't think you'll ever really have to worry about it, but it's there to let you know. Hey guys, future Jason here. Um, I realized while I was editing that I did lose some of the footage from uh, the, the initial video that I made there. I did get a chance to go out and take this out on the rocks. Um, I was gonna put that in this video, but I just don't want it to be too long, so I'm gonna throw that in another video. But um, after getting it on the rocks, um, I'm even more impressed. Um, uh, a couple of things that uh, could make it uh, work a little bit better. Maybe some weights on the front. Um, but, you know, those are already out there. So um, it did very, very well um, where I took it. You know, we climbed on some trees. We climbed on some rocks. We, uh, we, we went through some water with it. We got, uh, uh, we had a really good time with it. Um, I will say that I do really like it. Um, I, I like it more than the, the Nancy X24s in, in, in my opinion. It just um, seems more capable out of the box. Um, the oil filled shocks really help with that. Um, and also the size and the weight help with that too. But um, uh, it, it, it did phenomenal. Um, it is, you know, limited by its size, but that's to be expected. But it did really good, so we probably will throw some front weights on it. Um, and 
maybe do bead locks all the way around it, put some, some brass on the front of it, and, uh, and continue to, to ride this thing. I really like the Pro Scale Light Kit. It adds a lot of function, um, you know, with the, the, the hazard lights, the reverse lights, the brake lights, and the running lights going forward, high beams, low beams. It's, uh, it's nice to have. Um, I do like having that on, you know, most of my trucks, that functionality. Um, and as easy as this one was to set up, it was it was it was very nice to um, to have that in a in a very easy package. I, I will also say that um, the crawl gearing does fantastic for crawling, um, but if you're if you're gonna trail it, it's it's pretty slow. So. Uh, I ended up actually carrying it quite a bit when we were just walking down trails just because it didn't keep up with the walking pace. So uh, that is one thing to note. Um, maybe something uh, a little bit faster. It has, it has, it does have awesome low speed control with the crawl gearing in it. Um, I was very impressed with it. It was it was very capable of uh, low speed control and being able to crawl slowly over over stuff. Maybe something a little bit higher um, would work a little bit better. But uh, for the most part, I am extremely happy with this. And uh, yeah, so. Um, I do hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I do hate that I lost the, uh, uh, the, the footage, the overhead footage, and some of the audio from other clips. Uh, most of what I lost was stuff that's already out there, um, you know, going over the, the diffs, um, the gears, the bushings, stuff like that. That's already, that's already out there. Um, but I didn't have any problems with, you know, bushings or, you know, the plastic composite gears that are in the, the axles. I didn't have any problems with any of those. Um, it's got a few scuffs and scrapes and stuff on it now. Some stickers have been ripped off and tires are dirty, but that's the way it's supposed to look. So I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure that, uh, you know, you you do like uh, comment subscribe share it with your with your friends um, uh, you know it really helps algorithm to get the video out there to more people and you know it does help us out so I look forward to putting the uh, the running video out we got some really good shots and uh, I had a blast with it so uh, that'll be out in a couple of days but uh, until then see you guys